welcome back and what I wanted to do now is maybe do kind of a miscellaneous video of some of the basic things you can do underneath this front panel here so what we're gonna do is open it up I'll show you monitor adjustments I'll show you how to wire some of the buttons and I'll also show you how to add a coin insert button if you're interested in doing something like that so let's take a look here's a look at my front panel and like I said before this is a six button cabinet it came that way um, but I did add this coin insert button it's just a cheap little button I got at Radio Shack and when I drilled this out I just used a standard drill bit to do this um, if you're adding any of the holes for these larger buttons there's a special kind of drill bit that has sort of a regular bit in the middle and then a circular sort of cutting thing around the edges and what it does is your the drill bit in the middle will kind of act as a guide hole and then you can actually sort of drill out a larger hole. I recommend those for this. You're not obviously not going to find a drill bit big enough to, to drill one of these out. So anyway, that's the, uh, the coin insert button and I'll show you where I've got that connected uh, in just a minute. So, and you can see my fast striker instructions. So why don't we open this thing up and we'll take a look inside. Normally there are locks on both sides. I've taken the lock off on the right side on this one because I only have one key. So that was just easier than trying to destroy the machine every time I opened it. So you can see we have the wiring for all of the buttons here. And if you're wiring up these buttons, all you need to know is um, you've got a ground signal. You can see it's this white one, this really dirty white one right here that comes out from your JAMA harness and you actually just uh, split it off and jump it to every single one. So it's the same ground signal that goes to every single one of these and it just sends a little bit of signal to them and then when you press the button it completes the circuit and then the other side is the connection that goes back to your JAMA harness on whatever pin that is. So like, you know, player one, button one here, this, this one will go back to that particular pin and all of these are coming from the same ground. So it's pretty easy to hook up and you can use any of the grounds on the jam harness and they'll all work just fine. Okay, so the next thing we want to talk about is you've got your monitor adjustments over here and it's all of the basic things. You can adjust the horizontal and vertical size, you can adjust um, the hold, you can adjust the colors um, so it's all just your basic adjustments. Just use a flathead screwdriver and adjust away. And generally speaking, if you're adjusting the red, green, and blue on one of these monitors, the way I would recommend doing it, it's hard to know exactly how much to adjust of each one. You just kind of start turning stuff until it looks better. But what you want to do is find a game or a screen or something for the red, for instance, that has a lot of red in it. And just crank the red all the way up. And you'll notice that on the screen, the red kind of will bleed over to the right of whatever the object is. And so to adjust it, then you turn the red back until that amount of bleed over has come just to the edge of, the, of whatever the object is. Same for the green, same for the blue. If you do that, your monitor should look great. Um, so that's basically what, what we have under here. It's pretty simple. Um, now these are the wires that I've got coming to my coin insert switch and I'll show you what's what's going on at the other end of that. You can see here we have the coin door and behind here is where we're going to want to install our wires for our coin insert switch. So here's where the coins will come down and they'll activate this lever here and normally you would see these two wires here connected to these terminals and every time the switch comes down it completes the circuit and the machine knows that you've inserted a coin. Now you could just open the door and kind of go like this and, and insert your coins, but I think it's nicer to have a switch up top so you don't have to keep opening this. So basically all you have to do is just run these two wires to the two ends of a regular switch and install it and that's that's pretty much it. This may be the easiest thing I did on the entire machine. Alright, and that's how you do your coin insert. So that was just a quick look under the front panel of my machine and to show you kind of the general monitor adjustments, how to hook up the, the buttons, and how to wire the coin insert button. Now if you're having more problems with your monitor 
There are more monitor adjustments on the monitor board itself, but you have to get that to that from the back side. And I would not recommend touching any of that unless you know what you're doing because you can get shocked. And I, I've heard that it can be fatal. There seems to be some disagreement about that. But in any case, you can get hurt. So unless you know what you're doing, don't mess around back there. But um, those, are, those should be most of the monitor adjustments that you need. And uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. <laughs>